episode three of Behind the Chips. I just finally figured out what to call it uh, while I was editing the first two, so now I shall refer to this as that. You notice we still don't have the table on. It is on the ground right here. And I have already cleaned it up, took off all the grease that I already had on there, and other assorted ways I decided to lubricate it. So next step is I'm going to put it back on the machine, install the gib, and try to adjust that. So let me get to that point here. Okay, well I've got the table back on there. Um, what I have is it just slid in there. This is the gib, and here is actually the lead screw nut that I left out. So this is still just loosely on there. It can move all around because there's nothing holding it in. So what I'm going to do is put in one of these screws on this side uh, to be the end stop for the gib. I'm going to put it in just so it's you know about just a little bit sticking out, and just put this in and just try to get it even in there. And then I'll put this screw in, and then just start adjusting until I can get it. And what I'm going to do is just to get that to the right point. Afterwards, I will put the lead screw nut back in and assemble it. That'll be in the next. Uh, episode because this will probably take a while. So let me go ahead and uh, start putting those in. Okay, so I went ahead and put in the set screw on this side first because that's just a un wasted time of me just sitting there screwing it in. Uh, I forgot to mention, make sure if you, after you've taken everything apart and cleaned it to actually go and re-lubricate everything. I forgot about that and had to take the table back off because I wasn't thinking. So go back. Here is the dib. I'm going to slide it in here. It only goes in one way, so it's pretty easy to figure out. So I'm going to go ahead and just make sure it's seated all the way. And start putting the screw in on this side. And I just have the table as close as I can this way, just because it's easier to get your hands underneath it to actually get the screwdriver in there. It's got contact there, so I'm just going to try to slide the table. That's not too bad, actually. I'm just going to tighten up a little bit more. Time to move it. The uh, dip is actually kind of receding itself a little bit. But all right, so that's we'll go right there. Just gonna. That's really all there is to it. It's it's tight, but it's not really tight. Everything moves smooth, but it's not too loose, and there's no in play this way. Uh, notice when I move it, my whole table and everything moves because I don't have it secured to the floor very well. But that's really all there is to that. Uh, go ahead and after this, I'll start assembling everything on that side. Put the end block in. Uh, I'll have to take the, actually take the table out and put the lead screw nut back in so I can reassemble it. But what I'll do is everything will stay the same for these so I won't have to worry about the, the give moving. So that's all for this one. Stay tuned for the next episode.